I'm going to do is clean Tough Guy's eyes. This is something that's got to be done at least once or twice a day. Pugs and puggles especially are known mainly because half of pugs lineage and if you have a pug puggle then three quarters or thereabouts of their lineage is, it comes from the pug line and they're known for having eye problems so you gotta keep their eyes clean sit 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 good boy now you have to use hypoallergenic um, toilet paper or a warm washcloth, very soft cloth, um, whatever your whatever your your puggle gets comfortable with. Now I use fairly inexpensive toilet paper because it doesn't break up. It's not that soft, mushy stuff. Um, and I start by in the corner of his eye, and I work out. Now you can see there's. I don't know if you can see it from here, but there's a little bit of mucus here. And if we've been for a, on a walk, then you'll generally get a little bit of brown film from the dust in that. You should always use a different piece of toilet paper or a different part of the cloth for each eye. Be very careful about your hands, because you don't want to end up with any anything affecting your eyes. If people touch their faces, what is it, about 2,000 times a day? Um, or an hour, whatever it is. But anyway, it's a lot, and you don't want to end up with an infection in your own eyes. But, again, you just start in the corner. I know what I'm doing because I've done it an awful lot. So, I could do it kind of blind. No pun intended there. But, see, even then, I, I've just recently cleaned his eyes, but we've still got a few specks. Your eyes are magnets for that kind of stuff, and you've got to make sure that you clean their eyes often. Okay? You're going to have to build up some trust, too, because it's not something that uh, they particularly enjoy. But if you've had your puggle for any length of time, you know that they're incredibly social and eager to be pleased. They also love to be petted. If I pet a tough guy for a little while here, he'd probably fall asleep sitting up. Um, so a lot of it is trust. And over time, it just will become one of those things when you where you sit down and you have a little piece of toilet paper or something in your hand or a cloth in your hand, they'll know that that's time. It's time to, to have their eyes cleaned. And they'll go right along with you. Won't you, buddy? That's a good boy. So that's about it. Okay? Then later on, we'll probably go for a walk. Okay? Yeah, you know that word, don't you? We usually have to spell it out. But it's Saturday, so he knows he's going to go eventually, don't you? Go for a walk? Huh? Huh? Good boy.